a moment and give thanks to our indigenous brothers and sisters who are here yeah. on this land. The land that you stand on, the feet where you are standing, basically, you know what I'm saying? The land that you stand on, the Ohlone tribe was here. So thank you. Thank you, beautiful Ohlone people, for allowing us to be here. Okay, okay, hello, I'm serious. Ooh. Hi, I am Danielle Ivalani Ravivez. I am honored and so very excited to be here, surrounded by my fellow immigrants, refugee, and minority brothers and sisters. You are all truly beautiful, like for real. I see you. And uh, I am completely in awe. So who am I? I'm a product of immigrant love and I'm an American. My, uh, my mama is Hawaiian and Filipino. My father is Iranian and Azeri. <laughs> Knowing this, I feel like this would give you some clarification as to this hair. <laughs> So they met, they fell in love, the rest is history. Um, they are here today, I have no idea where they are, but mom and dad, I'm super hungry, I want to eat Persian food after this. <laughs> I will text you, we will meet in the garage. Um, so what makes my story a little bit different, but from others, not so different though after hearing everybody else's story, but you know, is the beautiful fact that my immigrant father who came to the Bay Area at the young age of seven from Tabriz, Iran, was adopted by an immigrant couple who came to California from Brighton and Denmark. Right? I know. So yes, my olive skin, light golden eye, dark haired dad, who only spoke spoke Farsi at the time, was adopted by a blonde, blue-eyed, white couple who spoke perfect English and Danish. I mean, what the hey? <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I can't even imagine how their family dinners were in the beginning. Um, thinking of my dad trying to communicate with my Nana and Papa uh, with that little English he knew from which he picked up from watching the TV show, The Flintstones. Um, so I, I mean, he probably called the family dog Dino for a while. I mean, let's be real. So growing up with this dynamic, I, the eldest of four, it was a smorgasbord of everything. Our meals were never dull. Think frigadella, which is Danish. Think potatoes, which is pretty much white. Uh, think of shish kebab, um, but also think of lomi lomi salmon and Kahlua pork. So it's a little crazy. Um, so our meals were never dull, our traditions were never traditional, our lives anything but routine. Throw in 15 years of living in Honolulu on the island of Oahu, and you basically have the definition of what a melting pot is. So ask me if I was culturally confused. Heck yes I was. I mean, was I this? Was I that? Why does no one look like my brothers, my sister, and I? Why does no one understand how this curly hair works in Hawaiian humidity? I mean, why do I have to check other on every legal form? <laughs> Clearly, I'm not alone on that. So, flash forward to today. At 37 years old, I am no longer culturally confused. I am steadfast in who I am as a multi-ethnic woman, as a daughter of an immigrant, as a granddaughter of immigrants. I can identify and relate proudly to each bloodline that courses through my veins. I have a deep understanding what it is to feel and be different. I know what it is to be looked down upon or stereotyped once my ethnic makeup is discovered. 
I know that on a legal form, I am more than just other, but I also know that I'm just like you. You, you, you back there, you, 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 you. We need to hold on to that, that we are all like each other. Brothers and sisters, we are one, and let's be real, one is love. I am ending it there. Mahalo, mercy, salamat, and thank you.